So, hello, Lena. Were you born in Drumore, Lena? Well, I'm not actually in Drumore, but up at the cemetery. Well, you won't be born in the cemetery, would you? The bedroom sat in the cemetery. Oh, does it? <laughs> well, whereabouts is that? Just over from the old church. They were actually... There's a house there and the bedrooms were in the cemetery. Well, that, do you know, I didn't... I thought you were at the one across the road. Yeah. Oh, it was actually in the cemetery. And is the foundations in that yes, still up there? Yes, still there. Yes. So where did you go to school then, Lena? This central school, up at the... That's Kirk Maiden? Yes. What we know is the old school at Kirk Maiden? Mm, yes. And did you stay there till you were... till you yes. left school, or yes. did you...? No, till I left school. You left school from there. And what did you do when you left school, Lena? Just stayed at home with my mother. You stayed at home. For a while, and then I went out. What and do you mean? When I come eighteen, I went to Mrs. McCullough's at Kerrain, and I worked there for fourteen and a half years. Did you? Yes. And what were you doing? Did you live in? I lived in. Yes. Yeah. And I worked in the morning. I worked in the house. In the afternoon, if they were needing me, I worked outside in the fields. And how long would your day be? You know, yeah, what time would you start? About seven o'clock in the morning. And what time would you finish if you'd have been outside and that? So uh, it depended on what was on. If the harvest was there, it was eleven o'clock. Can I be cheeky? How much did you get paid a year or a week or a month or something for that? No, no, no. You wouldn't do in them days, would you? Not a lot. Can you imagine working all them hours now? Oh no! <laughs> so how many brothers and sisters have you got? I had uh, there's eight brothers and eight sisters. Well, it was the sixteen of you. Oh, two sets of twins. Was that? Yes, two boys and two girls. I guess say uh, that's wonderful, isn't it? Mm. And how many? Is it just the four of you then? No, there's I uh, have three sisters. <coughs> my three sisters say uh, living away from here. Oh. Still. So and how many brothers left then? Just the two. two oh brothers. so so there's what? Three, four, six of you left then? Mm -hmm. Oh lovely. Well that's good going, isn't it? And well, you certainly weren't the eldest, I'm no, sure. I'm the oldest now, but I wasn't yeah. the eldest then. So how old was the oldest one to you? How many years older? Ten. From me? Yeah. Well, my brother would have been quite a bit. My oldest brother was, he was about 70 or something. But the, the twins were older than that. Oh, were they? So they'd be a good, what, 10, 10 15 years year between, between the daughters? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess, eh? 16. Mm -hmm. so, how big was the house then? Just two bedrooms. The kitchen and the toilet was out in the bottom oh. of the garden. Ah, well, they were, weren't they? I mean, even I remember them. To run down the yard, didn't they? <laughs> it was wet <laughs> so windy. <laughs> you didn't spend long. <laughs> you didn't, did you? Yeah, no, it was as quick as you could get in and out. Oh, um, but the good old days, eh? Um, Not like just being able to nip into your little room inside yeah. now, is there? So, how come he's lived up there then? And my father was the cemetery keeper. Oh, he, yeah. he looked after the cemetery? Yes, and he was middle of the top church for a wee while. He was what? Middle of the top church for a oh, wee while. Oh, the little was there? Yes. Oh, that, that's the old Kirk Maiden church, ain't yes. it, the one? Yeah. Yes. Oh, so, so how come he got that job? How come? I don't know how he come to get that job. But yeah. He was building and kept the church and kept the cemetery and any graves just to be dug, he dug them. He dug them. Mm -hmm. And how long did he work there? Thirty-two years. Thirty-two? Digging graves? Mm -hmm. And how many did he dra dig roughly, do you know? Six hundred and seventy-eight. And one at Stony Kirk and one at Kermadrine. Oh, 
face. And how would you have got to them, do you think? Would it have been by horse and cart or something? Or would there be cars? Oh, I never think, I can't ride a bike, you see, I don't think of bikes. Oh, so he'd gone about, and um, of course it'd be pick and shovel, I take yes, it. Yes, and he tied them up to the front of his bike. And away. Yeah. But uh, not only he couldn't go on the bike, so. Yeah. He just walked up and down to the cemetery. And did it all? When we got the house and drove. He walked, so, he walked up and down, he walked up in the morning. Come back for his dinner, walk back up. You mean when you'd moved into Dramore? Yes, and walk back down at night, and if he had a funeral, he come down at dinner time, got dressed for the funeral, took his, his dungarees with him, and then he took the dungarees off, had his black tie and all, dressed up, white shirt and all, and did the, the funeral, yeah. and then he went into his... Aye, because he'd have to fill it in as well, yeah. wouldn't he? But he filled it in that it never... Never sunk. That's amazing. The graves never sunk when we had this wee thing in the in the mortuary and it showed. It did all the graves with it. As it put each layer in, parted it down. Oh, and that that's what goes towards them stopping them thinking. Mm -hmm. Yes. So was that in the <coughs> old part of the cemetery? And the new part. Oh, and the new part. And the new part. It oh. did a bit in the new part. Yeah. Because, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it, it, the whole cemetery, when you you know the old and the new, is quite large, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. And I mean, it won't be easy digging them on on the hill, would no, it? No, it's yeah. all stone. I'm going to say there must be a lot of rocks and that in there. That's right. And he, they never, he never had any stones or any left. No, because ah, there's a pile now, isn't there? Yeah. Up there. Put everything in. Back it in. all went Maybe back in. Do. That's wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, I just you say that you moved from up at the church down into Dromore. Where did you move to in Dromore? Where uh, Ian Gibson was. Where's that? I don't up know. Up where Marina is. Up where Addie McComb and them. Lived. Oh yeah. Oh up there. Up beside them. Oh. Was our, we were the first tenants. Oh were you? When yes. they were new. Yes. So when would that be? Well. Nine. I was only, I was only coming for when we shifted. What, to those houses? To these houses. Have they been up so long? Oh yes. I am so I was four when I shifted down. Oh, were you? And um... Yeah, we know what age you are. <laughs> so you know... I, I didn't realise those houses had been up that long. Oh, then. I. And what was there be oh you won't know what were there before us demise it'd be older older no, houses. No, there's nothing. It just was, a field. Oh it was just a field and yeah, look at them. Just a field. I've no idea they were so old but, you know. I thought they might have been put up in the seventies then, but yeah. you see it just shows you. Yeah, yeah. And you were saying earlier about when your dad your dad did the uh grave digging and that, the new part of the cemetery it wasn't used for no, he, he, he had hay on it. Every year he had hay, mm. Mr. Morris and several goes it come down. He put wee rocks he Aye. And he he come down when it was ready for day. And did your dad cut it all in do yes. then? Yes. Oh. Hey, the good old days, eh? Mm. But there were a lot more people in the village that, well, locally, weren't there? Because oh, yes. on the farms oh, yeah. there was a lot of folk in that one. Uh, oh yes. Tremendous lot. Yeah. And did your dad put MD sort of well known locally? Did they dig you know, did he dig something for the lay uh, well, would it be the lay of the lay of Logan. Oh yes, there's a uh a, a monument up there for the lay of the Logan. Oh. And his or oh, his where is family. Yes, they're all buried up there. Oh and it, there's a what do you call it? A gold. Oh yeah. And they're on the Oh, and they're in there as well. Yes. So your dad would do all that then? Mm -hmm. So it'd have to be right, wouldn't it? Yes. A pick and shovel. Mm -hmm. And if there's anything washed in in the shore, bodies are in the washed in the shore, they took them up to the mortuary and my dad grazed them mm. and coffined them. Hey. So was your dad like the local undertaker as well? No. No? No. Was there an undertaker in the village yes. then? 
Andrew Mother, father. Oh, is that what his dad did? Yes. Uh, and he was always... a joiner, an undertaker. Oh, I, I would have joined. I never thought him being the undertaker as well. Oh, so he did that. Yeah, he made the coffins. And would it be Andy McGuffey's uncle that had those garages there that would have the hearse? Or did Andy's father have the hearse? No, his uncle. Oh, it was his uncle yeah. that had the hearse, yeah. You see how it all, you know, it's amazing mm -hmm. how it all comes together then, isn't it, you know? So, you said you worked at... Christina, swear Christina. Yeah, for yes. 14 and a half years. Yes. yes. So where did you go when you left there then? I went to Hydromore. I worked seven years there. Did you? I worked with Mr. McLean at first, up Stair Street. I was housekeeper to him. McLean. Mr. McLean. Oh, I know you. Yeah. Stella. Yeah. Oh, you worked for them, I did I worked for her father-in-law. I was housekeeper to him. Oh, my and then I went, he took in and I went up to Hydromore for seven years. And then I left there and went into North West and I was 22 years there. I know you were there some years. Now, did you live in at Hydromore as well? No. No? no I, I walked up every morning. So you left home and wandered up and, mm -hmm. well, walked up and walked back. And walked back. And what hours would you do there? Well, I, was, I started at 8 o'clock mm -hmm. and then we finished at 5. Yeah. And did you sort of get morning coffee, long dinner and mm -hmm. afternoon yeah. tea. Yeah. So you did get your breaks yes. and that. So how come you ended up in the North West Castle? Well, I had no work and I seen it advertised and I just went. And what were you doing there? <coughs> I was a housemaid, mm -hmm. did the rooms and that, and then later I went into the laundry. I did the laundry. Ah, I always thought you did all the sewing? No. No. No, oh. no I did the laundry. I was a laundry maid. I had you sat in a little turret, you know, doing all this. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I did the laundry. Oh. I was a laundry maid. Oh. That'd be hard work. And when, I, when the Americans or the Canadians come, you had to launder their shirts. You had to put them in plastic bags as if they were new. Fold them, put them into plastic bags as if they were new. Um. And you maybe had a dozen each day, and you had to be washed out and back to the rooms before they come back in it oh. in the afternoon. And starched and all that. Mm -hmm. Gee whiz. Oh, I want to like that. I've enough trouble doing my own, I ain't. Oh, I didn't mind. Yeah, I didn't um, mind. And what time would you set off in the morning from Dromore then? I went with a seven o'clock bus. At the weekends, I went at half past five. In the morning. Half past How would you go at half past five? My brother took me in. And you used to leave at half five? Some others was in at half past five. If he was milking that morning, I had to be in and back, he had to be back home for the milk. Oh, of course, yeah. At six o'clock. That was... So you'd have everything warmed up by the time yes. everybody come in? And, and then all the work done. <laughs> yeah, and did you get off any earlier? No. No? And would they pay you extra for that? No. So, otherwise, because there wasn't a bus to take it, mm -hmm. and that's why you went in that early. Yes. And how about getting home? Well, I got the, they come in for me at night time. They did? Yes. Yeah, so that'd make it easier, I would think. Well, like, let me get finished with five. Yeah. When there was a bus on a Sunday, Mm. The bus was half past six on oh, a Sunday. Yeah. Home at half past six. And even at St. Laura, half past six. Quarter to seven. Quarter past seven and two. Yeah, four. when you got home. That was the one after Long hours though, aren't they? Oh, I was lonely. You know. Very um, tired. Oh, I mean, when you think about it, you say, what age did you leave school at? I was 14. 14. Yeah. You wouldn't have the exams and all that that they have oh, no. today. No. 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 Um, and you stayed at home. So what age would you be when you first went to uh, Cairngan? What at Cairngan you said? Uh, Kildrain. Kildrain. I was I was 17. 17, yeah. So really, you've worked a long time, haven't you? Are you enjoying your retirement? Well, it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. 
No, could, I, be, could be worse there. Eh? I could be worse. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed my work though. Yeah. I did enjoy my work. Yeah. It kept me fit. Well it does and it, it, it gives you an interest, doesn't it? That's the whole time I worked and I had a day's illness. Did you not? No. I never drew off my insurance stamps the whole time. Did you not? That's how I had a big pension.